they's mirror? Are they's mirror? I'm about to nail it. Are they's mirror? I'm about to nail it. I'm about to nail the NASDAQ 100 on a five minute look back period. I'm about to nail it. Nailing what? To nail the short position. I'm about to nail it. Because I'm gonna nail it. I'm gonna nail it. I'm gonna nail it. Oi, they's me. Or I'm gonna nail it. You know you don't want to break that black line. You know you don't. So let's stop pretending you do. We know you're not going to break that line right there. You know you're going to discombobulate. In the most likely event, you're going to come up here, you're going to hit that line, the black line, then you're going to come back down again. Then you're going to go to, go to the previous close. You know you're not going to break that black line. So let's stop pretending you are, because I'm going to nail you. I'm going to nail you all the way down. I'm going to nail you. I'm going to nail you. Be back in a few when this thing is finally nailed. Because I got things to do, like wash the dishes, do the laundry, mop the floors, clean the bathroom, wash the windows, clean the car, vacuum the carpets. I got things to do. I'm like a housewife. Very close to nailing it. Very close to nailing it. Still in there, baby. Still in there. Getting ready to nail it. Because I'm going to nail it. And then I'm going to explain to you why I'm going to nail it. Because I always nail it. I'm nailing it. I'm going to nail it tonight. Because I'm going to nail it. Look guys, I'm going to nail it. Okay, I'm nailing it. Why do I nail it? Because I know how to nail it. Because I'm gonna nail it, that's why. Because I'm gonna nail it, that's why. You can see here between this original line and this breakout above the black line, banging up against this resistance here, which was previous resistance there, you can see that there is like a, there is a significant slope to a divergence. This looks like it's ensuing a bearish divergence. When we look at this a trend up here, it looks like it's uptick in this way, but there is clearly a divergence. And as you can see, if you just stick with the momentum and you hold on to your momentum gain, obviously you're gonna become a winner because it's gonna get discombobulated. And when you draw this trend line here again, you can see that between this line and this line and the previous line here, this could be the, the support level there. But we know that there's a bearish divergence ensuing according to these two lines here. And um, I'm going to get my take profit on that short position is going to get triggered and I'm going to say I nailed it because I'm going to nail it because it's all about mental game but of course my friends being that this is my shtiklach what do we have to do we have to do the disclaimer because this is just my shtiklach Disclaimer, this video presentation is for entertainment and educational purposes only. It is not investment advice. Consult your licensed, certified financial advisor, financial planner, stockbroker, registered with the FINRA, SEC, and SIPIC for all of your investment and consultation advice. Always remember, past performance is no guarantee of a future result, so therefore nothing here in discuss is etched in stone and is subject to change with market forces and volatility. Thank you. So there you have it, my friends. There's a bearish divergence ensuing on the five minute look back period according to the NASDAQ 100. And um, you can see how it's going down on that bearish divergence on very, very, very high red volume from the previous green volume. You can see the divergence between the candle action and the volume action. And it looks like there's going to be some downward momentum. And I'm going to say I nailed it because I'm always, always nailing it. Hopefully, 
this trend line breaks and it continues to discombobulate to the downside. Because this is like our breaking point right here. We don't want it to touch that and then come back up again. Right? We want this line to break from here and here. Okay? And, um, yeah. It could totally discombobulate at this point. It could totally discombobulate even further at this point. It's very possible it can totally discombobulate. Very, 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 very possible. It can totally discombobulate even further. They might take profit. Very possible. It could discombobulate even further down the road. Let's draw another hypothetical line right there. That's like the worst case discombobulation hypothetical. Right? Just slightly above the zero point dotted line. Zero is like technically neutral at that point. So yeah, it should get discombobulated even further. It should get discombobulated in my opinion. God, this video is taking forever. Oyve is near. Where is it? Okay, still technically right there. Full price doji. Turning above the green VWAP and the blue VWAP right there. It's very close to striking distance. And, um, yeah. So, we'll be back in a view and I will reassess the, uh, if any, back in a few, my friends, back in a few. All right, so I'm back, getting ready to get triggered. It's very close to being triggered. Very, very close. I just got to pause the clock because I don't want to make this video too longer than it should be. I'm already seven minutes into this video. Come on, baby, just let's get triggered. Let's get triggered now. Let's get triggered now. I'm gonna get triggered now. I'm about to get triggered. Very close. Very, 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 very close to get triggered. I'm getting triggered now. All right, baby. See, I'm getting triggered. I just got triggered. I just got triggered. Let's take a look at it. On that bearish divergence. So, as you can see, the NASDAQ 100 got triggered. All right, it triggered the uh, bearish divergence and it got discombobulated right there. So as you can see, it's down ticking at this point. This black line ultimately became the resistance. Just enough of a bearish divergence to bring this down into um, profit mode. And when we take a look at the uh, Trend lines again, as you can see, this is the bearish divergence right here. Just enough to get triggered. Uh-oh, I might be getting, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That looks like the support line, which you just saw me previously draw. Or they smear. It looks like it can't hold this line. Uh-oh, it's breaking this line as well. It's going into, like, neutral territory at this point. Uh-oh, it's going to get discombobulated. It's going to get discombobulated. It's going to... See, it's getting discombobulated. I told... See, it's getting discombobulated. It's getting discombobulated. It's getting discombobulated, my friends. It's getting discombobulation. It's broke... It, it, it broke the line. It broke the line. It broke the black line. It broke the black line sand. Hey, how did as Jim used to say? The, the line in the sand... Something like that. Anyway, it's getting discombobulated. It's getting discombobulated. It's getting discombobulated. It's discombobulating. All right, my friends. It's discombobulating. Catch you later. At this point, I don't have to do anything. Because it triggered my take profit. And, um, yeah. I don't have to do anything else. Other than just say, it's discombobulating. I'll title this video, How to Trade... The bearish divergence on the VWAP. Something like that. I'll come up with a night. I'll come I'll come up with a good subject. For all you technical analysis guys. Because it's all about technical analysis, man.